Gaming Bolt presents Top 10 Upcoming Games in October 2016. The holiday season is upon us, and that means a lot of AAA games. Seriously, if you were worried about your wallet taking a beating before, then you haven't seen anything yet. Let's take a look at 10 games to play when October finally rolls around. Mafia 3 between Nam, losing his surrogate family and swearing vengeance on the Italian mob, Lincoln Clay is quite the busy killer in Mafia 3. Set in New Bordeaux, inspired by late 1960s New Orleans, Mafia 3 features a large open world full of rackets to break up, vehicles to hijack, and criminal dens to infiltrate. With its GTA 5-esque cover system and a huge assortment of weapons, Mafia 3 promises a compelling criminal caper, one that could see you entertain or exterminate your fellow partners. It's out on October 7th for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Gears of War 4 Phoenix is back, but it's JD instead of Marcus that's the focus. Gears of War 4 takes place several years after the third game, and between an oppressive government and the swarm, the world has seen better days. The set-piece heavy moments of the series return along with new weapons and characters. Multiplayer brings free-ish DLC and gear packs for various benefits. But all you should know is that Horde Mode is back, and that's all that matters. Gears of War 4 is out on October 11th for Xbox One and Windows 10. WWE 2K17 While the WWE 2K games fall somewhere between entertainingly hilarious and shockingly poor, we're still looking forward to WWE 2K17 when it releases on October 11th for PS3, PS4, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. My Career Mode has seen some major revamps, introducing Brock Lesnar as a major part of the story, while promos can now be cut during various interludes. There's even a meter to indicate how well your promo engages the crowd. Gameplay additions include a new secondary submission system and the return of backstage brawls. Shadow Warrior 2 Lo Wang is now Cyber Wang. Up to four players can decimate a future overrun by demons with quick movement, chainsaw katanas, and akimbo-style gunwielding in Shadow Warrior 2. Customization, abilities, loot, random generation, increased movement possibilities, there's a lot to unpack in the sequel. Thankfully, it still features procedural limb chopping. Who doesn't love that? Shadow Warrior 2 arrives on October 13th for PC. Battlefield 1 War is hell, and in Battlefield 1, war has gotten a lot more... sandy. World War 1 is the newest setting as players control different factions across brand new maps. Head to Sinai Desert and lock down various control points while avoiding sandstorms and armored trains. Battle in the new Operations and War Pigeon mode, the former acting as a multi-round match and the latter involving pigeons. It's cooler than that, we promise. Battlefield 1 is out on October 21st for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Civilization 6 It's a new civilization and people already hate it. What's new, right? Civilization 6 has garnered quite the backlash already for its art style, but we're not complaining. The 4X title will introduce city unstacking as you manage various districts within your metropolis. A civics tree is also being introduced to allow different paths to victory to be more viable. Watch out for it on October 21st for PC. Titanfall 2 The tech test may have been mixed, but Titanfall 2 just looks better and better the more we see it. Attrition will be making its return, while comprehensive looks at the cosmetics and weapons make us even more excited for the possibilities. Titanfall 2's movement has also been further sped up. More intriguing maps, including the return of Angel City, have been showcased, and the wait till October 28th is slowly becoming torturous. It'll be out for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, Special Edition The Dragonborn rises again in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. Don't expect new content as Skyrim Special Edition packs together the base game, Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn into one comprehensive, graphically updated package. Improved textures and effects can be expected, but Skyrim Special Edition will also bring mods to the Xbox One version. Sorry, PS4 fans. PC players will receive a free upgrade for owning all previous content, which offers even more incentive to revisit Skyrim on October 28th. World of Final Fantasy Look, we get it, chibi characters aren't everyone's cup of tea, but there are plenty of reasons to be excited. Aside from mixing together several signature Final Fantasy worlds, cameos from characters like Lightning, Titus, Vivi, Squall, Cloud, and many more can be expected. World of Final Fantasy at this stage seems more like a celebratory title, but if the active time battle and mirage mechanics hold up, it could be a dark horse when it arrives on October 21st for PS4 and PS Vita. Res Infinite one of the many VR titles releasing with PlayStation VR, we have to go with recommending Res Infinite. 
besides its eclectic music and gameplay style that look made for VR. Res Infinite is one of the more underrated games of the Dreamcast and PS2 era. We may not get a full-body feedback suit, but we're more than happy to dive into Res Infinite when it releases on October 13th. And that wraps it up. What are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it on Twitter and Facebook. And why not consider subscribing? We upload some really cool videos almost every day. Thank you for watching this video and happy gaming!